guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to my new kitchen. I'm so glad that you're finally here with me and I'm super excited about the recipe we're gonna be making today because I want you to picture this. It's July of 2010, I'm a private chef and I am out in the middle of the Texas Hill Country which is just south of Austin at a private ranch. We made the best breakfast casserole that I had ever had in my entire life and I promptly lost the recipe. But I have been digging through my house, through drawers, through folders, and I finally found it. And that is what we are gonna be making right now. So this breakfast casserole has sausage, green chilies, Monterey Jack cheese or pepper jack cheese. And the secret to the whole thing that makes it so much better than other breakfast casseroles is the egg binder that people tend to use to make casseroles has a packet of gravy in it. I know it sounds crazy. It infuses the whole thing with amazing flavor. And I am so excited today because our video is being sponsored by Pioneer, another great South Texas company. Pioneer makes all sorts of mixes from the gravy to turkey gravy, baking mixes. And so they're gonna be sponsoring this video and we're gonna be using specifically their country gravy mix in with the eggs. So let's get started. So the secret to sausage is to start it in a cold pan. That lets the fat sort of render out of the sausage and then sausage actually fries in its own fat. There's no reason to you know, butter the pan or anything beforehand. As the pan comes up in heat, you'll have more grease. That'll be great, because it's gonna fry the sausage. When you get some good sear marks on the sausage, all you have to do is either drain the grease out of the pan or you can use a slotted spoon to grab all that sausage up out of the pan and transfer it to a bowl. Okay, so once you get the sausage made, this recipe kind of turns into a dump recipe, which is what cooks call it when you just dump ingredients in and then you cook it. The oven is preheated to 350 degrees. So I've already got the tater tots. They're lined up in our little casserole dish, which I just agrees with a little bit of spray. I think you're gonna want that because the cheese and the egg could stick to the pan. So that's probably a good thing. Now we're just gonna start la layering stuff. So we're gonna start with our sausage. And like I said, I'm acting like it's really hard to do and it takes many steps. You could just throw this together. This is so easy. So what I like to do, this is the can of green chilies. Of course you can use fresh if you want. These are roasted green chilies. This is a seven ounce can, but I like to save a little bit to go on top. And the reason why is because whether you're a chef or a baker, it's kind of a nice thing that we're taught to do with, with a casserole or a dessert or anything where you don't know what's in it, you put a little bit of some of the main ingredients on top, just to like let people know like this is what's in it. And if you don't like green chilies, you can leave it out. You can also replace it with some pico de gallo or tomatoes, some roasted mushrooms, whatever you like. So now we're going to do the cheese. And it's just a cup of Monterey Jack cheese. You can use pepper jack cheese if you want. That'll give it a little spice. Now we're moving on to the egg and gravy concoction. This is the secret to the whole dish. This is why it's so, so good, is you always bring a breakfast casserole together with eggs because of course they bind everything. It's almost like a big quiche. Now we're also gonna need a cup and a half of water. Okay, so we've got my three eggs here and I'm just gonna add a cup and a half of water. Probably should've done this, put it in here first. That would've been easier, right? Okay, there we go. And then we're gonna add the Pioneer Country Gravy Mix. I got this, you can, if you're in Texas, that's where I am, they have these everywhere. Um, they also have a store locator on their website if you wanted to specifically get this brand, which is cl it's a classic Texas brand. Okay, and then we'll just get a whisk and whisk this up. Here we go. Now we're going to bake this at 350 for 25 to 30 minutes. And I like to put some fixings together. I like to have sour cream, a little bit of tomato or cilantro sprinkled on top. You don't have to do any of that or you can come up with your own creative ideas. Ugh. 
Okay, so when I made this casserole for the first time, we had taken this catering job. It was out in the middle of nowhere. It took forever for us to get there. And we had pretty much a newborn baby, but they were offering us all of this money. And we we're like, okay, so Derek, my husband, and my sous chef at the time, we all go out there. We have my mom who is gonna watch our newborn baby, Gabriel. And we cooked all weekend long. It was freezing cold. And the coolest part, besides this awesome casserole, was I got to meet Lyle Lovett, who is a, he's a country singer. He's from, Te I believe he's from Texas. He's a big Texas deal for sure. And uh, it was so weird because these people had this amazing ranch, but there was only like 20 people there. And they had him play like essentially a private set just for them. So we got to see him up close and personal and it was really cool. And we also got to have a fabulous breakfast, which you're now gonna have with us in just a couple of minutes. Okay, so you can see this is a really yummy looking sausage casserole, but we're gonna do even more stuff to it. And of course, I love sour cream. So I usually do that, that's how I kind of decorated it. And obviously you can put sour cream on every single plate as well. Now, sometimes what's also good is an avocado cilantro. Okay, and then we'll just cut ourselves a piece. Oh yeah. Mmm, so good. I love the idea of a breakfast casserole because I don't really like to get up in the mornings and make a big meal. But this is for those mornings when you have to, like Christmas morning, Thanksgiving. It would be a great, like, new mom, new parents dish to make, you know, for like a couple who just had a baby. And on the website, my recipe blog, urbancowgirllife.com, I have the principal recipe as well as all the instructions for making this dish ahead and freezing it. I had so much fun cooking with you guys today. Hit that subscribe button so that we can cook together again. I'm Chef Sarah Penrod, and I will see you next time. Hi. Hi there. Everyone meets Stella. She's the new mascot of the kitchen. Can you say hi, Stella? She just really wants to get into this casserole, I guess. Okay, one more time. <laughs>